the second half was much better than the first half and we had good chances, but not always the wishes are materialized. But on the other hand, we still have a very good chance to qualify for the second place to the Euro in Germany. And at the end of the day, Switzerland is a very strong national team. So we are looking very forward for the next two games, which for us will be crucial. And the first one will be played here, coming Saturday against Romania. You may talk with lots of Israeli here. Have they feel home here at the podcast? Well, they felt the hospitality, yes. There's no doubt about it. First of all, they are fascinated by the by this place. I mean, they haven't seen, most of them have never been here before. Under the current circumstances, to play here, it's like, almost like home. And the fact that a big part of the audience were people who were brought here from, uh, from hell, actually, for, because they were, uh, they are residents of this uh, kibbutzim and small villages around the Gaza Strip, which were affected uh, during the Hamas uh, massacre on the 7th of October. So for them it was some kind of like coming back to normal, even if it is for a few days and then they go home. So they enjoyed, everybody enjoyed. You know, at the end of the day you say, ah, oh, we could have won, you know, but... Uh, Maybe it's not good to be too greedy and next time we just win and the next one on Saturday night. The, the other side of the stadium, they are from Israel. And, but there were many people, there were Israelis who live in Hungary, there were Israelis and Jews who came from all over uh, Europe. There were, there were Jews, uh, Hungarian Jews, but there were also uh, members of the Faith Church that came to support us. So it's really heartwarming. Of course, Hungarian Prime Minister was here and so it's very It's heartwarming and welcoming. There was an exact topic. Uh, oh, what you talk with uh, prime ministers, it's something between you and the prime ministers or the prime ministers and yourself. What the message of this match to the world? I think that uh, Hungary stands uh, with Israel these days and we don't take anything for granted and we really uh, appreciate it. And I think that today the fact that Hungary was ready to take all, it's a big hassle. I mean, and it's not over yet because there is another game. It's a lot. A lot of Israelis here, a lot of security, everybody wants to do everything in order to avoid uh, uh, unpleasant uh, surprises and so on. So Hungary was ready to do it and we appreciate it. And uh, yeah, and you know, it's the same friend, the leader friend.